All Tony Romo wanted for Christmas was to see Travis Kels and Taylor Swift get married. At least it seems that way after he called Swift Kels' wife again. Romo, 43, was working as a commentator for CBS during the Kansas City Chiefs vs. Las Vegas Raiders game on Monday, December 25th, when he misspoke. While discussing Kels' 900th career reception, the camera cut to Swift, 33, who was cheering and ringing a bell in the suite at Arrowhead Stadium. And his wife loves it, I mean girlfriend, Romo said, quickly correcting himself. Fellow commentator Jim Nance chuckled and quipped, you've been down that road with that before. When Swift attended the December 10th game against the Buffalo Bills, Romo made the same flub. As you see, Kel's wife, Taylor Swift, in the audience, he told viewers. The former Dallas Cowboys quarterback quickly laughed off his mistake, adding, I'm sorry, girlfriend. Not yet, Nance added. A few moments later, Nance joked, you don't know something we don't know, do you? Swift celebrated Christmas by cheering on her boyfriend, though the Chiefs ultimately lost to the Raiders, 20-14, alongside her family. She brought parents Andrea Swift and Scott Swift as well as brother Austin Swift, dressed as Santa Claus, and his girlfriend, Sidney Ness. The tight end's father, Ed Kels, was also in the suite with the Swifts. While Taylor wasn't in a full Santa suit like her brother, she looked festive in a red cable knit sweater and a Santa hat with Travis jersey number 87 embroidered on it. Brittany Mahomes, wife of quarterback Patrick Mahomes, was spotted watching the game alongside Taylor in a similar one with the number 15 on it to represent her husband. Brittany's husband gushed over Taylor days before the game. She's top tier at her profession. And to see how she drives and she becomes that, dude, it's really cool to hear about and to see, Patrick, 28, said during an interview with CBS Mornings on Friday, December 22nd, while discussing Taylor's relationships with Travis and Brittany. Now I have a first-hand look at that through Brittany and Travis' eyes. Travis and Taylor only got together over the summer, but they've had plenty of really deep conversations about their future together, a source exclusively told us weekly ahead of the holidays. When they can't physically be together, they are constantly texting, calling, and FaceTiming, the insider added. Taylor's relationship with Travis is like nothing she's ever experienced before. They got serious fairly quickly, and she was proud to show off their relationship from the jump. Even their loved ones can see this romance is different. Taylor and Travis make each other so happy so their families and friends are very supportive of their relationship and of them spending as much time together as possible, the source shared.